Get ready. It's time. Christina, Catherine, Lisa, Amy, and Lauren. Welcome to the Cimarelli Podcast. Hey, I'm Christina. I'm Catherine. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. And, and we're Cimarelli. Welcome, welcome back to the Cimarelli Podcast. Podcast. Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. We are rejoined by Christina today. Everyone, welcome yeah, her back to the studio. Right. It's been a long two weeks without her. Maybe three weeks. Two. Yeah. Three? Yeah. One there was, you were in one in the middle, but then you left again. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Welcome back, Christina. Thank you. It's hard uh, helming the ship. I got a lot of anxiety last time. <laughs> but it was still fun. <laughs> anyway, this is episode 177 because my sources are correct. Because they're never wrong. They never miss. Um, and today, we're going to be answering your dating questions. And what are our qualifications? I don't know. We've all dated. So that's our qualifications. And they're married. So maybe that gives them a qualification. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But we're going to do our best to answer your questions and have some fun. I love answering dating questions even though I have no business. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, that's fun. So we're going to get into it today, right, guys. Let's start with our highs and lows of the week, everyone. Okay, I'll start. My high is that I have a lot more energy than I have in weeks. Oh, I'm, I love it. I'm on an energy high. Because your on, body isn't getting hit by kidney stones anymore? Well, I mean for months. Oh, love I, I should have said months, yeah. So I'm on... What day is this? I don't Tuesday? know when it started. Wednesday? It's right now. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I'm on day six of an energy streak. Wow. wow. It's a record. I'm wow. like the opposite. I'm so tired lately over the last few days. Oof. So anyway, that's my high. It's a great high. It's actually one of the best highs I could possibly have. So great high. Amen. And then hey, my- you were talking about how you were trying to do this on the podcast many yeah, times. I so. know. So Everyone, we'll see, I have a foolproof. I'm She's nervous, but we'll reaching see. Reaching her goals before our eyes, ladies and gentlemen. I've been tracking my energy and like how many days in a row I have energy for. And the the biggest streak was three days before. And then it would oh. be off for three weeks. Do you have like a rating system? Um, No. It's just, do I feel dead? And do I oh, crash wow. at all during the day? Mm. And can't recover? Mm. Oh. If it's if yes, then nope, not energy. Oh, oh, I get that's it. That's what I do. That makes sense. So that's every day for weeks until I get a couple days. So my low is, um, let's see, random sleep low was that Barrett got in this habit of waking up at 6.30, which he normally, he'll wake up at 6.30 and like look around and then he'll go back to sleep until 7.30. But then he kept, the last week he kept waking up and going, Dada, daddy, Aww. daddy. And then I come upstairs and he's like, I want to get up. I want to get up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's 6.30. Absolutely not. So that was my low because I was like, because I wake up to him screaming on the monitor. <laughs> but we fix it. So we're not doing that anymore. I'm like, you have to look for the light to turn yellow. We got to wait. So I tell him that before bed. I'm like, now when you wake up, if you see the light's red, what do we say? We say, mm, the light's red. We can't wake up yet. We got to wait till it's yellow. <laughs> so then he did that the next morning. And then when I came up, he's like, the light's yellow. Like, wow! Uh, praise the Lord. What did people do before these colored light systems? Because I feel like they're how so, is that? They're so popular in our generation, and I'm like, I'm definitely going to be doing that when the twins do quiet time. And I'm like, I how does he understand that? I'm like shook. He's always understood. I just be like, I no, I'm awake. Clocks. Yeah, there's like when the big hand reaches the top. Well, well digital clock. They were just in one room. Mm. Their house didn't even have like rooms in the olden days. What? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, saying, like, like, I'm like, saying like the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> they not, just, not one room school. <laughs> they just left I their don't kids. Know. They just left their kids. I think that's what oh. they did. They just vibe. I kind of, they did probably no, just vibe. That's probably true. I mean, that's a, whatever. Okay. Next. Who's next? High and low. Go. Um, okay. Okay. Here you oh. go. Hit it. My low is that I felt like I was kind of getting sick over the weekend. And I just laid in my bed all day, but not in like a fun way, in yeah. like a uh, uh, way. I wasn't like sick, but I just felt like my body was decaying, you know? Yes. Where you're like, yeah. uh, same. Uh, uh. And I was like, something ain't right. But my high is that I don't feel like my body is decaying now. And last night, Amen. I cleaned my troll room. Oh, Amen. Your troll room? Guys, okay. Post birthday room is a thing. 
okay because you have all your presents that you brought oh, into your yeah. room but you don't know what to do with them and then you have like wrapping paper and random stuff yeah because oh not only was in mine it and was all also your clothes that you a went few people's birthdays so i had like gift wrap and my stuff whatever and then i also was dead over the weekend so i had all these dishes and random things and it just wasn't right mm. so i cleaned my troll room i love cleaning the troll room and good. i woke up this morning and i was like wow I'm it's a, a new real day. person. It's like the Aww, end of the Barbie it's a movie. New like, day. Oh, I love I'm it. a real woman. Hmm. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> loving it, loving it. Next. Um, okay, my low was that I did I was sick for like two days. Oof. Um, but it wasn't that bad. Two days? I never sick for only two days. It's only I like know. a week. It was weird. It was like the shortest. Like I felt this weirdness and I wasn't sure what it was. Amy perks up. And there was two days where I was actually not feeling good and then Listen, I felt fine. Maybe after that's that. what I had. What yeah, was your symptoms? I think every person had it. I felt a little weird last week, too, but I was like, am I just tired? It was really hard to I had, like, a lightly sore throat. Yeah, very and light. Then and then decaying body. Ba- barely a little bit of congestion. And then, oh, yeah, never mind. And there was, like, one night where I was like, ooh, I'm stuffy. And then after that, I felt fine. Hmm. It, w- it was life. very short yeah. and very <laughs> mild. Amy's life's flash before I that. think it might My have been the plague, and we are all going to die. He was like, what? You <laughs> no, had a lightly stuffy nose. Because oh. I was feeling the same way. So I was like, mm, I, I didn't get that. I had it swollen was... lymph nodes, and that was it. Oh. How do you know How that? How do you know? Because you, your armpits hurt. Yeah. You feel your armpit? Yes. I've only felt it in my neck. They get like oh, really I totally had the armpit. tender. I never had that. Why is... Okay, we'll have to look at that later. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, like Milo not. is right now. Wait, yeah. I didn't say my... <laughs> Keep <I> going. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I don't even know. I literally just stayed at my house because I was, wasn't was feeling good and just kind of... Mm-hmm. Um... Oh, I took the twins to the library, but that wasn't even a high. That was really mm. bad. <laughs> because, okay, I, yeah. We got there, and they were like, oh, are you here for story time? And I was like, there's story time? Oh, I didn't know that. And we were the only ones there. And it's like, okay, I guess we can do story time. But the twins are not old enough for that. They would not sit still and listen to this very sweet woman read them stories. And it was just them. They were, well, then this other girl came in with her mom, this like little girl who's older than the twins and definitely at more of an appropriate age for it. And she was sitting there quietly listening and the twins were running around trying to steal the book from the lady. <laughs> and she, she was reading these books about rain and rainbows and raindrops. And they were ripping the things off the little like chalkboard that she had. I was like, oh my gosh. So I just left because <laughs> we were there to like, play with the trains and stuff they normally do at the library and I just grabbed them and was like we need to leave you gotta get out of here <laughs> <laughs> you guys are ruining story time <laughs> so yeah I don't even know if I had a high I mean I guess I went to the library but that wasn't very good so yeah. <laughs> TBD nice. oh, you? No. let's see I can't remember my life I'm your so low tired. is your life flashing before your eyes right now? yeah no I'm just so tired mm. over the last weekend it hit me probably I'm tired and afraid of being tired. <laughs> it's an issue. Um, I think because I burned myself out way too many times the last year that I'm very scared of doing it again. So anything that feels like it could potentially be that, I just have a panic. Mm. And it ain't right. So, yeah, that's a low. It's just that general feeling of doom and mm. dread. Mm. Um, but there's a lot of really fun stuff going on. So that's like a high. But I'm like, what if I get sick and I have to miss all of it? <laughs> so that's how my Probably. brain goes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, oh, I have to say the Patreon part. Oh, no. My low is I went to get a taco last night. Mm. This was not a taco. What? It was, I don't even know what it was. First of all, the tortilla wasn't even cooked. Not and no. there's like a measly, mean? tiny bit of meat in there with a You're measly. To warm a tortilla. Yes, you have to like you just take grill a it. cold one out of the fridge. For oh, a you grill I see. The tortilla. Oh, yeah, that's like the I thought you meant scene, it was raw, and I was like, No, How I'm like, that? bro, I paid like four bucks for this. I see, I see. And then I wasn't gonna like roast the restaurant while I was there, or to the people that brought me there. Did you leave a Yelp review? No. Oh, okay. this is my Yelp review. You made um, it sound like you're like I wasn't gonna roast it while I was there. But it was, was literally but when I got home a like not cooked flour tortilla. Oh, I like flour tortillas yeah. oh, with a those. tiny bit Actually, of them. little bit of meat and some tomato pico de gallo ish type of vibe, and that was all. No, nothing mm. else. No sauce. Why nothing. Did you order that? That's what I I don't know I didn't Wait, know that you would ordered be like that. one taco for your whole meal and then I got an enchilada thing which was actually mm. better but okay, not good, good still good. not as mm. good 
The sauce was really good though. So I was just like, this is not right. Mm. What is going on here? A Yelp review. And like, I could One get star. a way better taco for like half of that. Yeah. Yeah. So I hated it. It just mm. was not right. Mm. And they gave me a Coke mm. can that was like all like jacked up and. I was like, what am I spending wow, $50 million dollars for all of this for? Okay, we're going to get into our main topic of answering your guys' dating advice questions. But first, I have to tell you guys, if you want to see all of our full episodes, you got to join our Patreon. It's only $5 a month. It's linked in the description. You get every single episode. Plus, you get all of our exclusive content. We do Q&As every single Monday. Lisa just filmed one today for you guys. So... She's doing like a little update on that. And there's Throwback Thursday stuff. That There's the weird Wacky Wednesday stuff from Lisa on there. It's pretty wild. If you know, you know. And we have series we've done in the past, like um, things we don't talk about. Oh, yeah. We have some really good ones on there. Just saying. So if you want to support the podcast, support Cimarelli, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Cimarelli. Or link in the description. It's only $5 a month. Check it out. It's a great positive community so this episode is sponsored by first of all green chef green chef is a ccof certified meal kit company they make eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle so this is an organic meal kit which i think is awesome i love getting my green box at the front door mm. just had an absolutely amy and i love this we had this incredible meal it was like tilapia yes. and like lemon and capers mm. and, and orzo yeah, I've had some of the best meals, actually, like top, I would say top 10 meals yes. of my life. I've had two or three of them from Green Chef Literally. of my life. Yeah. So good. And I have discovered like five foods that I'd never heard of. I've never tried. made cherry. Yes. yes. So I didn't, good. I didn't know what that was before. Oh my gosh, so I good. have never had orzo really before or made it on my own and it was so oh good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I love orzo. So Green Chef makes it really easy to have incredible meals. Basically, you can skip all of the meal planning, which I think is, meal planning is like the bane of my existence, honestly. Skip all the meal planning and all the like, okay, now I have to get three tomatoes and then blah, blah, blah. Then when you actually have to cook, you have to measure everything, which I hate doing. Skip all that. You get this delivered right to your door. It's got everything pre-measured, portioned. Everything's perfect, ready to go. You got it all right in one bag. Just take the bag out of the fridge. I don't have to think at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I have like no brain power left, mm -hmm. especially with kids. So trying to think of like, okay, a quarter teaspoon. Ugh, am I doubling this recipe? I think of all these different things. I hate it. So I love Green Chef because I don't have to think about that. It's just like follow the instructions right there in front of me. Chop, chop, chop. Throw it in. Cook. Boom. Done. And it's so good mm -hmm. like oh, so seriously good. oh my gosh the recipes are so good i just can't believe that i made it i'm always saying like this tastes like a restaurant it, it does. does so if you want our deal it is go to greenchef.com slash six zero cimarelli and use code six zero cimarelli to get 60 percent off plus free shipping mm -hmm. that is greenchef.com slash 60 cimarelli code 60 cimarelli you'll get 60 percent off Free shipping. Try it out. See what you think. But I'm telling you, I've never been disappointed by a meal. I'm just shocked, actually, every time. Mm. Shocked. Okay, so we all go to the doctor. Every single person can avoid it. But you know what's horrible? Trying to find a doctor. Mm -hmm. Which I had to do. I was on a huge doctor search my last pregnancy. And it was... I wasted so much of my life. I have wasted hours upon hours. Luckily, ZocDoc would have solved that problem if I had known about them, so I'm really mad about that. But going forward, I won't have this problem anymore. So ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. There are thousands of top-rated, patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition you're searching for. So if you're on ZocDoc, you can search like, I'm looking for this type of doctor, and then do they take my insurance, and when are they available? So skipping all the phone calls that I had to do, you just get on the app, the free app, ZocDoc, and you can find all of it out. And I love that it's like, insurance when they're available patient review mm, that it. is a major key i was looking for t i was doing that so much um particularly 
with my last one when I was pregnant with Tristan, I really wanted to find a great doctor that had great reviews. And it is harder than you would think to find. Mm -hmm. So with ZocDoc, you can actually find that, get all that information in one place with the free app. Amazing. Oh, you know what? Actually, I do have to look for um, a dermatologist or something mm-hmm. like that. I want to get all my moles checked. Right? Is that dermatologist? Whatever that is. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go. I'm going to use ZocDoc. Oh, my gosh. Because I was I like, when am I, I, I going to get to use it? I'm going to do that at some point soon. Honestly, you should do it today. But I'm going to do it at some point, And I'm going to try it out. And I'm really excited. So go to ZocDoc.com slash Cimarelli and download the ZocDoc, ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z O C D O C dot com slash Cimarelli. ZocDoc.com slash Cimarelli. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. You guys know that we are huge fans of therapy. All of us have um, been in therapy, you know, many times over. <laughs> Loved many it. Times. Seen, <laughs> seen the benefits of it um, for, for all different kinds of things. And Really, I think any person could benefit from therapy, whether you've had a major life event, a big change, or maybe even something very traumatic, or you're just kind of struggling to kind of process and move through life and make good decisions. Mm. Um, It's just so good to have that person who's outside of your family and friends, who's unbiased, who's a trained professional. Yes. And BetterHelp is here to streamline the process for you. Um, They vet their therapists and they help you with detailed questionnaires and things that can kind of help you match with a good therapist for your specific needs. Um, And they just make the process so much easier. It's also all done online. So you can do it from the comfort of your own home. It's a lot more affordable than traditional therapy. It's just a great option all around. If you're looking to try therapy, definitely should check out BetterHelp um, because it just makes it a lot easier. My biggest tip with therapists, since I've seen a lot of different therapists because some were just not right, so we didn't see each other very long. But my biggest tip is when you're seeing a therapist, you give them a chance in the beginning, but after a couple times, if it's like, this is not, this is not feeling like the right thing, try a different one. Don't stick with someone if you're not feeling it because normally that doesn't really change. Have you guys had that experience too? Yes. Where you like try someone and it's like, this is not it. If I don't, I, honestly, the first time, if they don't tell me something that makes me like connect something, then I'm like, this is not it. And I, that's been my experience. When mm-hmm. I, the re, I've had like three really good therapists in my life and all three of them, the first time we met, they said at least one thing that made me go like, whoa. It wasn't just, the ones who weren't that good for me. It was just kind of like, eh, eh. So my biggest advice is when you see someone, if you're like, I don't know about this, if you see a different one, that's the great thing about BetterHelp is that you can switch to another one really, really easily. You don't have to do like the whole like, okay, sorry, can't see you anymore, whatever, like the breakup that you have to do kind of normally. Um, it's really easy on BetterHelp to switch to another therapist. So you guys should definitely try it out if you're thinking about um, trying out therapy. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash Cimarelli today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Cimarelli. All right, let's jump into your guys' questions. So we asked you on our Patreon and our Instagram, so we're going to read from both of them what your dating questions are. So we're going to give you some dating advice. Oh, no. Let's do it. I love it. This is so hard because I feel like I have to know the person and like I their know. history. Like I got to like oh, look yeah. into their eyes to really yeah. know what their problem is. <laughs> I know. This one, okay, this question, this is a hard one, <clears throat> especially not knowing the person. Why am I always in the friend zone? <laughs> you probably have a friend zone filter like me, or you like people that aren't attracted to you. Those are the options. What's a friend zone the, filter? Okay, that's pretty good. Wait, what's a friend zone filter? It's I'm where confused. everything you do goes through this filter that makes it friend zone-y. Like, Wait. It's like <clears throat> if you try to be like... Flirty? Yeah, then it would go through a filter before it came out of your mouth to be the least flirty thing that could happen. Yeah. Like you're stopping yourself oh from gosh. being too flirty yes. without yes. realizing it. Yes. From yes. fear? Yes. Okay. Mm. But you don't realize. Those okay, are the yeah. primary reasons. <coughs> or I have had that struggle before. You're only mm. attracted to... People that don't want to date you, unfortunately. But you can change. That is a really good point. It's Thank not you. that there's something you're probably thinking. This is what most people think. Oh, it's because there's something horribly wrong with me. No, no, there's not just honey. something horribly wrong mm-hmm. with you, and you're just damaged forever. That's not it. There's got to be something else here. You will find okay. a way out of the friend zone in time. I don't get though. How are you always in the friend zone? Because I'm like, 
if someone doesn't like me, we don't become friends. We just don't Well, Lauren, talk. that's a very different life experience. Like, how She's do you saying, become in the friend I think, zone? Like, okay. I mean, isn't it just like this Why isn't is it happening? Not romantic, she No, said. I think a lot of people have this idea like, oh, I need to ease into relationships and like be okay. friends with them first. Yeah. And then they just get stuck. It's like. They yeah. go with the intention of like, I'm going to get to know this person because I'm interested in them, but the other person just thinks they want to be well, friends. Well, that might be another problem. If you want to date someone, why are you being like, hey, want to be friends? I don't like you. So don't do that. That's not Yeah, really you could just be scared You too. could say like, oh, let's get to know each other. Yeah. But you could still like show I, interest and take it slow. Yeah, I think that it's just people that are afraid of rejection. That's my thought. Like, <clears throat> I think it is yeah. really vulnerable Which to aren't we all? put yourself out there romantically. And it feels weird and bad because you're like, you don't know if they actually like you or not. Yeah. So I think you're probably in the friend zone because you probably deep down fear like rejection. And it's just scary to put yourself also, out there. And I totally get it. It's such a distraction from any other issues that you have in life, which is like oh. fun in a lot of ways. Like, oh, my gosh. Is he gonna like me? Am I getting out of the friend zone? All these different things. So it's like, yeah, it might be taking you for a ride, and they probably it's have definitely no definitely taking you for a ride, and they probably have no idea that you even like them and are attracted mm. to them. Take it from the master. We have a good episode. They probably have zero ideas. We have an episode that goes fully into this, right? The relationship oh, they anxiety. Also, what? they oh, yes. uh, there's an episode right? on how to flirt and show interest that they. We'll teach us the secrets. Okay, so there's a how to flirt episode. Is that what we called it? Yes. And like a flirting one on one relationship oh anxiety episode. Yes. Th these were made for you if that's your check problem. Check those out. Those Go will definitely help. Okay. Um, next. Do you think it's worth it to date in high school? <clears throat> I think so. It can be. Uh, worth what? Like it depends. I think it's good to have like well, yeah, depending on I've, ideally, it's good mm. to have like your parents like guidance. Oh, don't waste your time. Because kind of a lot of people say that they're like, oh, don't waste your time dating in high school. Okay, I think mm. it's I think Maybe in some it ways depends. it's worth it to be like there with your parents. You're living in their house and they're like helping you. Assuming you have this kind of relationship, they're like helping like guide you. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> guide you through stuff. I think in that way it'd be worth it. If it's just you sneaking around not telling anyone, I don't think that's worth it necessarily. Mm. If you're just by yourself <laughs> running wild as a teenager, yeah, that's I, not great. I don't vibes. necessarily think that's worth it. Maybe yeah. it all. It I feel like my dating as a teen experience was very like calm it was like group hangs where it's like mm. a friend group kind of thing or like oh i went bowling with this guy or like really like light kind of dates that weren't mm -hmm. that serious like i wasn't like that serious with anyone it's just kind of yeah. like getting to know hang out like that kind of Thing, which I think that's good to do. I think that's definitely worth yeah. it because I didn't do that in my <laughs> teenagers because I years because I didn't really have the option, and I had to learn it all in my twenties, mm -hmm. and it was not like well, great. I will also say that it's very different in California versus in the South. In the mm -hmm. South, it was way more normal to like go on a date and it's not that deep versus in california all mm. these people they would never even label their relationship because it yeah. was like too much you too would serious. never like on a date it was like, i do recall oh, that true. so out. i feel like it's just more chill like with the culture here yeah, yeah. i think it's w it's worth it to get to know people and learn how to interact and like show interest in different things yeah, but I will say maybe this is a different perspective, but also I will, one note of caution, if the, you're the person who wrote this, maybe you are in high school, I definitely caution against taking it like way too seriously yes. because I have known people that I can think of specifically right now who have had a really bad high school relationship that kind of like messed with them and they in their 20s are terrified of dating. Yeah. And, and yeah. the reason I think that is is because like you're just so young and you don't it's so hard to know the boundaries and how to like care for yourself and maybe when you're older you're a little bit more equipped to do that but how can you help it Cap? When no you fall it, in love. no it is really hard but i will say just if you're listening to this and you're and you're wondering that Same. maybe you're not in one yet it's totally good to get to know people but like just try to like keep it a yeah, little more light if you can so that you can just wait till you're a little older to like Cause really, are you ready to like have this life partner that you're like, no. we're gonna get married and have kids? Like, it, it, you're not really ready for that yet. Yeah. So just keep it light if you yeah. can. I think it's good to just get to know people, have some fun, and chill. yeah, hang out. Yeah, exactly. 
I'm 22 and I've never dated. It hurts so much. Aww. Advice on how to feel better or how to put myself out there. And I saw a lot of questions that said, how do you put yourself uh, out there? Don't I get it? Don't I get um, it? Well, first of all, that episode that we said, the anxiety one yeah. and the flirt. Actually, both those. First of all, I would say those two are made for you. Those you will probably be down below. have like a deep rejection wound from childhood. Perhaps. You might need to dig into that, and maybe a fear of men. I don't know because probably. like just a hunch. You can. It's like okay. Just saying, I think it's not that hard to think of how to put yourself out there, right? Like you could think of some things to do, but to, to do get yourself them. to actually do it, it's like there's some deeper problems Therapy. there. Yeah, which mm. maybe you need to explore also like what's holding you back from well, putting yourself also out also though we this is a very broken dating culture and i remember reading something recently that said the rates of being single and the rates are going up and the rates of people getting in relationships are going down ah. like, it's just sort of it's <laughs> first and i don't know if it's sorry so i think like social media dating apps like there's so many yeah. things that have changed the dating culture over the last like few decades so I want to say, like, it's not you and you're not, like, this broken person. Yeah. Like, there's so many people that have the same feeling and are – and a lot of people just aren't asking people out. Like, they don't prioritize it or they feel weird yeah. doing it. Like, it's not just you. There's so many people yeah. that have the same experience. So it might just turn into a giant exercise in, like, exposure therapy. Mm. So you just are going to go up to anyone that you meet and find interesting and be like, hey, want to hang out? That's how you're going to learn to put yourself out there. That's what yeah. you're going to do. You're going to follow them on Instagram, send them a message. Hey, want to hang out sometime? That's it. And I think that I've probably said this before, but like practice connection as much as you can with yeah. the people in your life already. And like if you don't feel like you have that, mm. like build those relationships because there's so much overlap in interpersonal relationships so mm -hmm. if you're like building good healthy friendships with people then you will be i feel like it makes dating a little easier because not only are you like practicing those skills but you also have a support system of people who you can be like let's like date together you know like yeah, we can do it yeah. that's and, they, and if you like I have a rough that. date you can like have i think like build those friendships and then if you're if you have similar friends that are like yeah we want to date too like hold each other accountable go on mm -hmm. dates like go to events in your town or like yeah. cool social things like build that community together because it's people yeah it's more than just the dating is the problem i think it's okay. just a it's just a loneliness problem in our culture True. here's the next one i left him but i still feel bad that he moved on like oh, really don't i get it really mm. bad is that normal yes yes because <laughs> you don't want to be the loser that like he didn't even care about it. He just moved on so quick, easy. Yeah, it feels mm. like that's a reflection of you and like how forgettable you are or how important mm -hmm. you are or how special you are or blah, blah, blah. But in reality, it's not. It's not. Yeah. It's not a reflection of like you and your worth as a human being. But we totally get the feeling because we have definitely all experienced that. You should listen to our song, Easy to Forget Me. Yeah, is it that that's a good easy one. Is it that easy me. to forget me? That is like so relatable. I also think that that's a extremely common scenario. Mm -hmm. Like extremely yeah. common, and you I know up it's and like you like start dating someone super quickly. Like it happens very often. Cher yeah. Lloyd, and, I want you back. Yeah, yes. and it has nothing to do with you or no. them or whatever. It's just like they moved on quickly, and who knows how that's going for them mentally. But no offense, you left them. So. Yeah, so you no gotta offense. let them go. You gotta let them go, and even though it's annoying and it hurts the old pride, you just gotta let them go and do their own thing, yeah. and it doesn't matter. It yeah. doesn't matter. And some people, not saying this is their situation with the person you dated, but some people like always need to be in a relationship. And so they just move on because they're like, I need to find my next person. Okay, where are they? Like, yeah. And so what I'm, I'm saying, I'm not saying that's happening, but I'm saying that's just an example that shows you it's most likely not anything to do with you. Like, oh, you were just so easy, you know, to forget or whatever. It's yeah. not your fault necessarily. No, it's not. Okay, if you are interested in dating a friend... How do you ask them without ruining the relationship? I feel like this is in every like teen it's TV show. It's in every show. teen TV show okay. for sure. And I have to say I have no idea. I feel like more I've might be had, the best. I did this I one. I never had a guy friend that I wanted to date ever. Oh, okay. Mm. I did. And it was like we were in like a friend group. It wasn't like he might be of FK, but it was like friend okay. group. We're friends for a while. That makes okay. more sense, I would say. Yeah. yeah. And just one day I asked him to hang out. 
we had hung out one on one, maybe a few times, but not really. So I asked him to hang out like one on one, and I was just like, like "Want to hang out one on one?" Okay. Yeah, because we had a few times, but I was just like, "So I feel like we have a connection." Oh, ah! oh! <laughs> and then he said, <laughs> "These people don't know what he said. I think it's just one of them things <laughs> that will pass." <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I forgot. Oh, uh, well, I know exactly Which, what you were talking about. The situation was a little complicated. A complex situation. So I got it, but... It so how'd you feel about that? <laughs> well, I understood why he was like, eh, we can't really do that. Yeah, it was Just a little complicated sitch. I felt like... Uh, kind of sad, I guess. I don't really remember, but I it wasn't like... I was like, oh, this is the one for me i was just like i feel like we have a connection and mm. like did it ruin your friendship because uh, i said how do i do this without ruining the relationship i think you so it may have <laughs> <Not> that. <laughs> that was me that ruined it not him i mean you're not in like, control of ruining the relationship as far as what he responds with well no we were still friends for a while but then yeah, that was a different reason that it ruined. Not that. I don't know. People always It wasn't that, that hard. Look, okay. I'm just saying, in, shows. in my experience, just being honest about that, like, hey, I feel like we have a connection. And then him just being like, yeah, but I don't really think we should go there. It's like, okay. Not that bad. It's not that dramatic mm. if you both can just talk about it and be like, okay, we're not going to do that. If you feel like you can't, like survive that because you like this person so much then that's a different problem but you like you probably shouldn't be friends with them sorry but maybe you can and it's just like okay well i wanted to see and i saw and it was a no if he can't yeah. talk that out with you and still be friends then i don't know that might be more emotionally immature anyway well, and i think it's can't. also like you sh you got to let him know if they're like no that you're like okay that's fine like I, it's not like this is ruining my life. I just wanted to bring it up because I don't. thought like we have a connection. But it might be ruining your life, so you can't say that. But mm. if it's not, then you can say that. Yeah, because don't get caught <laughs> up in friendships where you're like obsessed with them for years <laughs> and it's painful. Yeah. And you shouldn't be friends with them really. But then you look back and you're just like, really tell them you deep. have a connection. What just would you s wait? If and okay, we know <laughs> what you would say. What would you say if you're in this position? <laughs> And ah! you had to say something. This nothing. is the exact reason Literally I told you guy friends. Okay, I would not I tell them. I think I could say something similar to that. Like, if you keep it, like, low pressure. Yeah. Keep just it like, low key. You could be like, I feel like I might, I feel like I might possibly, just like every possible qualifier, <laughs> I might be developing, like, more than friendship feelings for you. Ooh, what do you think spicy. about? Or how do you feel? And then if he's like, no, then be like, huh, okay, then I'll just dampen those and ignore them <laughs> <laughs> i don't know that would be i feel like i wouldn't say it unless i could tell though yeah that he yeah. was yeah although it's weird because i've heard of people that have like said that to their friend and then they ended up getting married and it worked out if a guy friend said that to me i feel like i might be developing blah blah i wouldn't be like so threatened i yeah well not now i'm married obviously <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you my <laughs> In my past, <laughs> I would have been like, oh, well, depending on if I liked him or not. If I didn't like him, I'd be like, okay, I'd just tell yeah, him. Like, I would one of them things that will yeah, pass. Yeah, I'd be like, I think it's one of them things that'll pass. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them things. <laughs> but I feel like that's like a not threatening way to say it. Yeah. yeah. You'd be like, I feel like I might be developing some feelings. I just wanted to see like if this is like a mutual thing or not. Yeah. <laughs> putting yourself out there. That's not that bad, right? No, no it's no, good. You said, it's more dramatic. Because you said right, I, I might be. Say that. And then nope. you're like, when oh, you JK, I'm not. feelings, I'm like, whoa. That's I might be developing I a like, connection. I, can't I might be developing a, a crush. <laughs> I feel like I honestly <sighs> would have just tortured myself by continuing to hang out with them and having feelings. Oh, my gosh. And then eventually it got too painful, and then I would just start to drift away and be like, <laughs> I got to move on. <laughs> I and just feel not like that's good advice, but that's what I would. Do. I was just kind of. Mm, oh, wait, I'm, I have another. If one you're gonna to drift do. away anyway, why don't you tell them? Yeah, it's gonna end anyway. I don't like how I Too handle things in the situations <laughs> that I've been in. Oh. Here's another one. What would you advice. do? What would you do now? Ah, but with hindsight, I'm like, I know that it wasn't that deep, but it was deep then. But now it wouldn't be. But I just would be like, I think I'd take I'd cosplay as Lauren. That's what I would do. <laughs> 
every time like i was lauren i'd be like you know i think that we might have a connection or i'd think of myself as a like, connect and then i'd be like so like how do you feel about that and then <laughs> they'll say it and then you're like okay yeah. and if it's a no then it's like okay then we'll just still be friends it will probably be a little less of a friend but you can still be friends another yeah. except easy one. don't hold it in for years and then be like i like you but i never want to speak to you again bye <laughs> here's another easy one <laughs> that's you what can i do. did oh it wasn't gosh. great if they have social well it's real life too but social media whatever you can just send a fire emoji just to their story. <laughs> yeah! not, a, not a fire emoji but close <laughs> <laughs> Close to what I was going to say, but not a fire Subtle. Emoji. Subtle. Okay, just when they post. Yeah, I think it would be like a messaging thing, not a posting. Not just a comment. Comment, hottie. Yeah, not that. So if they post something, you could Weird. reply. I'm just trying to think what's the easiest way to ease in. Um, reply with something. So I'm, ask, I'm gauging YouTube people if you could do this or not. Because that will tell me if they would do it. Because I don't know if this is good yeah. advice for a less bold Yeah, woman. for a less bold gal. <laughs> Because you guys don't like being bold, right? Oh, no. I, yeah, I, I, I have to cosplay as Lauren. So, what if they posted something and you could respond something that was like very lightly flirty? Like, um, what would be really lightly flirty? What? Then that's probably just like, oh, a nice friend. Because... No, no, you have to you have to make it so you're a little bit uncomfortable, but okay. not too uncomfortable. I probably took this way too long one time. <laughs> I was like, in my 20s. And this guy, <laughs> I said, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Your mm-hmm. eyes remind me of icebergs. <laughs> oh, I love it! I that love it! That is just like fat. <laughs> like, Pets. oh, your eyes. You probably said it like that. Your eyes remind me of icebergs. No, I said it. I didn't say it with any tone because I said it in a message. Okay, oh, wait. Okay. Wait, the guy version of this that guys said to me is. Your, your eyes, eyes, eyes are, are cool. cool. See, but I feel like mine Every was time more, yeah. a guy said that to me, I knew he had I a will say, I shortly after this found out that he had a girlfriend. So oh. that kind of ended that. I mean, I didn't but, know. okay, that's a good start. Wait, you can I do that. Starts. You're like, oh my gosh, your insert whatever you want to say looks so good. Oh yeah, good here. a compliment. Know, Give and a then compliment. you see your the hair. girlfriend and then you're like, bro. Oh, I love your hair. Like, cool. the, I don't know, something. Just Give him a compliment. It. Okay, compliment. That's what I say. Compliment. In real life, you do that. Oh my gosh, I love that shirt. Or but that shirt I say that so to people all the time without it being flirtatious. So how do you? That's how, what. No. Well, that's a borderline. They, I feel one. like they just tell them they have something on their face, even though they don't. Be like, oh, let me get that off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no! we answered this in the flirting no. episode. No, no, no. In the flirting episode, we were saying you do the same thing. Like, so you're saying like, oh, that shirt looks really good on you, whatever. But you have to think. When you're oh, saying yeah. it, you're, you're cute. so cute. Yeah. And don't think like as a friend. Yeah. You're really cute. Mm. I'm that's telling you. Thi- but that's so, I feel like that's one of those things that's so like uh, cryptic. Because no, no, no. people you do see, that all the time. You do that. Then you see what is his reaction. And then you're like, ooh, I'm getting a vibe. Then you can go on with your next move. Yeah. If he's like, thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, or if gosh. he gets like kind of nervous or he like smiles really <laughs> extra big. <laughs> or he texts mm-hmm. you and says, can't wait to see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the kiss of death. That <laughs> is so bad. I had, guy, I had like multiple guys do that to me. <laughs> oh God, that's hard. I would try to like say something to be like, that's I'm hard. excited to see you. They'd be like, you guys. That is okay. They're basically that is, like, I hate you. I wish you'd die. I'm just that is so know. true. When it's like you're in a group, <laughs> when you're in like you you see the person in a group a lot, and then when you're texting them one on one, obviously that's what texting is. Then you're like, and what they keep saying, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. They're just like, oh, so good to see you. So good to see you guys. That is like then a clear. Then you gotta know that that's, that's a, a clear no. no. Clear message. It wasn't that good to see you. It was good to yeah, see you guys. you guys. Yikes. Yeah. Wow. It's just not okay, so you could tell him. One yeah, on one after the group. It was great to see you. Yeah. And then he will clearly tell you if it's a singular I'm or a plural. Saying, life is more interesting when you're bold. That's when what I've learned. Take some, oh, it is. Take Just take some little risks. <laughs> They're not even that risky. These are really just small Just like risks. have some fun with it. Just but, ask him to hang out, see what happens. And then if you just end up still being friends, it's fine. What's yeah. the fear, would you say, you two? What's the fear? That they're going to say. Embarrassment. Embarrassment. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. So if they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Then <laughs> who is like that? If they did <laughs> that. Know. Well, that's what, that's what you're scared of, right? Yeah. But they're not going to do that. Or them just being like, oh, thanks, but I'm not interested. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's that is same. so, Im- it's humiliating yeah. when you're like, yeah. you're trying to specifically compliment them or call them out and they're like, you guys. 
Oh, okay, but like, that's letting you down really it's easy. It's horrible. Yeah, no, I know. But they then are it's letting like, you down okay. You're like, Bleh. you're just like mortified. Then you just yeah, gotta put on reject. Bejeweled by Taylor Swift and yeah. just Okay, walk there it you off. go. There you go. Okay. I'm just saying in the moment. Nowadays, I'm like perspective. I'm like, you know, it's okay. It's good to put yourself out there. You never know until you put on Bejeweled and walk it off. <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm saying when I was younger, I was Pre like, has been oh my gosh, I hate this so much. I'm gonna go crawl into a hole. Kath, I feel you. I feel like I've done the same yeah. transformation. But you just gotta, like, I'm like, you should do it. You just got to put yourself out there. Say the risky things and Cause those aren't even put that. on Bejeweled if you got to walk away. They're not that risky. Okay, so what is an immediate no for you? No. <laughs> what? I think what they mean is if someone does something, you're like immediately Like no. a red flag? Or are they saying like, no what no. is someone giving you an immediate no? Like you guys. Well, yeah, what are they saying? <laughs> well, that's an obvious one. Right. How I have no clue what that? this question means. I think they're saying what is to you. What's your like? Just answer that. Deal breaker? No. That's What's just like, an immediate okay, no? That's a no. Anything. I think uh, they want ideas. Oh, someone that's mean. Yeah. yeah. See, some people that's not an immediate no. I've no. learned that I no. cannot handle that. It just erodes your self esteem. You, I just no. I need someone nice to me. Oh, this is not that good. But when a guy would say, I hate reading, that was immediate no. Uh, I just knew we wouldn't get along. Oh, yeah. um, I, I would flops. say... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Straw hat. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would say, in Every a nutshell, lifeguard. what I would say, cult leader vibes. Yeah. Which I would describe, and this has happened to me multiple times, always from like one of my friend's boyfriends like meeting me. And I this never actually happened to me because I feel like these types of guys were not drawn to me. But I just see this as immediate oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, because you're hooked. My, yeah, this, yeah. This happened so many times. I can remember very specific examples. The guy comes up to you and is like just trying to win you over so hard and say like everything that their your friend told them about you to like so try weird. to like play to like, oh, I heard you're religious. Well, let me talk about church or like let me like talk about how much God means to me. Like literally the minute they meet you. Ah. I can't tell you how many times this happened to me in different ways and it's just like i think that's such a red flag it's like what are you hiding behind that like don't try to win people over so hard with like yeah i just think it's sketchy okay i think mine is a guy that tries to talk himself up which is not necessarily bad like in general but i just don't yeah. like that mm. i like guys that are low-key that it's like oh i'll have to ask to find out all these mm. good things. You're not gonna just tell yeah. me because you're yeah. just driving. Love it. Yeah, How I actually you, think that's really like quietly confident. And yes, I love that. that. Yes, I will say yeah. humility. I will say that was one of the things about my husband. Like I had no idea how good of a runner he was. Took me a very long yes. time to find out. And I was like, he never said that. And that's like really impressive. Rick, but can he I just saw him running. <laughs> no, no, that I found <laughs> out later. <laughs> I was like, dang. That's a good but job. it was very attractive that he wasn't like bragging about it. Love yeah. that. It's like, let me find out. I'm okay. Yeah. Don't like tell I me how great you are. I love your humility. Mm. Love it. Thanks for listening to the Cimarelli podcast. To hear the rest of this episode, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Cimarelli, where we post every episode in full. You can also watch all of our past seasons and Patreon-only episodes when you become a patron. You've been listening to the Cimarelli podcast. Follow Cimarelli on Spotify and subscribe on YouTube. You can also find Cimarelli on Facebook and Instagram.